YouTube, hello YouTube, it's Vaping Maniac today and I'm back and yes I'm back again. Let me adjust my chair, get all ready for you. Today it is going to be the Cats RDA by Infinite. This is a clone by Infinite. Oh man, check this out. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down to the table. And uh, we're going to do a build for you. Um, you've been requesting for me to do builds. Well, here's the build. Um, I hope this don't take too long, but here's the build to the table. Okay, guys, here we go. We have the box for the, the, box for the cat RDA, the cat's RDA. You see it's made by Infinite. We have a nice box here, nice cardboard box. Let's open it up and this is how it comes this is how it comes in the box we have a bunch of bunch of uh, spare o-rings some wick and wire pre-repped uh, wicks in here I'm not gonna use these and here we go a piece de resistance let's move this box out the way we have the cats nice cat logo looks like it's a uh, laser engraved on there nice we have a brass uh, barrel right here um, nice comes with a nice Delrin and stainless uh, drip tip wide bore and you can almost see all the way down there nice long 510 connection um, Something to note about this 510 connection, this uh, pin here, I don't know if it's adjustable or not. I haven't tried to adjust it. Let's see. It seems like it's moving a little bit, but never mind that. Um, this is perfect for something like the uh, like the 4.9 or the Stingray X with the hybrid adapter or any type of hybrid adapter because this sticks out so far. Look at that. You have no worries about the screws of the 510 touching um, touching the battery because this is a direct battery uh, connection. Um, I mean, this is a real nice piece. Let me put it on my... Uh, Ohm meter here. Let's uh take this off. This is your airflow control. This pops off. You have four holes here. You have one there, one there, there, and there. Same with the uh, beauty ring or airflow control ring. Um, sits here and look. You can adjust it. You can close it off with me I like it to uh, have it wide open but if I have a higher build uh, 0.5 or whatever I like to close it off a little bit it gets a better vape um, uh, it's a nice barrel nice brass this is a beautiful piece here set it to the side and then what you have here you have the uh, inner barrel or intersection this is, let's, let's take this uh, drip tip off very quick, you can see this. Um, nice O-ring here, Very, everything fits together. Um, you can pick it up by the each piece of never, you don't, eh, can't even talk. It doesn't um, slip out. It's, it's nice, nice firm fit on all these pieces. This piece here, let's take this off. Look at that, that's nice and firm. This piece here, it's all juicy. It has six air holes. I can't, I don't really know the size of these air holes, but um, they're pretty small. They're pretty small. I don't, just to show you, I have a syringe, blood tip syringe needle that fits in there with just a little bit of room. You see that? See it fits in that hole with just see you can barely I can turn it like this and like this so it's barely enough room uh for that to fit. 
have a little bit of space left. But that's how small these holes are, but you have six of them. So when you put it on your atomizer, when you put it on the build deck, you really don't have to uh, have it lined up anywhere because it's it's everywhere, airflow is everywhere. And this is the, let's take this back off of here. This is your build deck. You have uh, two sets of O-rings at the top portion that holds this cap on like this. And then you have one O-ring on the bottom which holds this, uh, the, the outer the outer barrel or outer section on and if you're concerned about brass touching your juice this never touches anything any of your juice or anything because this is what goes on here and with that inside it's a pretty small chamber if you see the little ledge right here let me get my screwdriver again if you can see this little ledge right here this ledge uh, from this thicker part here. See what I'm, see what I'm saying? This let me get it right here. Get real close. This thicker part here to here. That's your chamber, and that's a small chamber. And it has like a conical. Uh, it has a conical um, section here. So. Um, it's for flavor this is not for cloud chasing but it puts out some clouds but it's not for cloud chasing um i think i got this built around 0.3 with a single coil it works single coil dual coil quad coil i mean it's up to you and your imagination it's up to you what you want to do with it it's a this is a nice piece so and the thing is you don't have to yeah you see that? Let me get in here. See that? It's a single coil, 24 gauge, 4 wrap, 0.32 ohms. And let me tell you, the flavor, even with this 24 gauge wire, is outstanding. It is outstanding. So what I'm gonna do to you, do for you, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna take a little break, and I'm gonna take this uh, cotton out. And I'm going to pull a cotton right now. Pull a cotton right now. And then I'll show you the deck of this bad boy. Like I said, Jay, that's a lot of cotton. Well, it is. It is a lot of cotton. It's a lot of cotton because I only had one coal. And I didn't want to uh, burn my cotton. So this is the way I have it built right here. Just a little bitty single coil around uh, this screwdriver here which is a number zero you can see that it says number zero right there number zero can you see that this is number zero um, let's see. number zero and four reps it's a nice vape this is a nice vape but I'm gonna tear this out and I'm gonna build um, two I'm gonna do a build a dual coil um, for a wrap and see what we come out with. Right here is 0.16. I did some tweaking on it off camera. It took me about five minutes. And uh, let's uh, put this on here and. Before I do this, now let's test this baby out and get it running properly. She seems to be working fine now, huh? Okay, we got that all sorted. Get this all sorted, make this nice and neat. Nice and neat. Nice, this is what I'm doing here. Nice and neat. 
They both fire at the same time. Oh, I got one. Looks like the same time to me. Alright, let's cool these off. These pliers absorb absorb some of this heat. And then we're gonna throw some cotton in this bad boy. Cotton in this bad boy, and then we're gonna go vape on it. Okay, what I have here is some cotton all rolled out with this low build. I want a, a good amount of cotton, not too much, not too little. That's my cotton there. It's a little bit too much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to peel this off. And then I'm going to just push this down. I'm not even going to roll it. I'm going to roll the end, but in the middle, I just want to kind of push it in, push it down. Because I don't want it to be too tight in this section here where it's going to, where my wick is going to be. I don't want this to be too tight. I just want it to fish through. Okay, I got one there. Let's take this other piece that looks about right. That looks about right. Let me, uh, okay. Just smush this down a little bit. Keep doing this. Like, just not pulling it, but, you know, just kind of brushing it down. And then I'm going to twist this in. This part here. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> Man. Luckily, I have another piece over here already. Yep, I have another piece. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist this down. I don't want it to be too tight. That's why I'm not rolling it. It's just going to be in there nice and snug. Nice and snug. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna take this this way here. Let me see what I'm doing. Let me get a little closer. Get a little closer and then I'm just gonna pull this in. Just like that. Then we'll spin it around so I can see this side. Do the exact same thing over here. Oh, this is gonna be good right here. Oh yeah, look at that. See that? That's what we have. That's what I have there. Then I'm gonna take these scissors and I'm gonna cut this off right here. Just like that. Same thing over here. Just like that. And then that's what I have there. Then I'm just going to tuck this under. Under there. Tuck that in there. Because it is a little well right here. So I'm just going to tuck this down. Just like. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not even. I'm talking but I'm not even showing you. So okay. I tuck this one in here. I tuck this one in here. Right there. And then I'm gonna take I take this other end like this, and I'm tucking it in here, down right into that little channel. I want to leave as much of this coil open as I can, and then the same thing on this other side. Take this, stuff that in there. Keep that my cutting, so all right. I'm gonna try to stuff that down in that little, call it the creek bed. 
Saturday. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Just, just keep tucking it. Keep tucking it. And it looks something like that. Might have a little bit too much cotton right here on this end. No biggie. I can uh, string that out a little bit. Thin that out. No problem. No problem. Go back in with it. Yeah. There we go. There we go, right there. That's what I was looking for. Make it look identical to the other side. Yeah, it's kind of like stuff that in there. Come back to this side, get that little stuff. <coughs> okay. And then what we're gonna be using on this right now, is gonna be a little bit of this uh, summer fruits from um, a discount vapor. I'm all over the place with uh, vapor shops today. Just give this a little, a little wicking, a little juice on here. Juice her up. We're gonna juice this thing up. We want this thing to be. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. Come on, move that around. See how it's nice and juicy. Then take it out. Square a little bit on the inside right there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, right, right in the middle, in the where that coil is. I mean that that wick is on the inside. I want this thing nice and juicy. And then see what we have here. Oh, she's humming. Look at that. Look at that bad boy right there. Oh yeah. Give me some more juice on there. A little bit more juice, a little bit more bell cap. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Oh man. All right. Uh, this is the cats RDA. The cats RDA. That's uh. I take this bad boy out to the regular screen and uh, let's vape on it. Okay, I'm back. I'm back from uh, that. How'd y'all like that? Um, yeah, that's what we have in here. Is uh, the build I just did. Um, it's a very hot vape. Um, if you're new to rebuilding, I do not suggest that at all. Um, you make sure you have good batteries and good equipment if you're gonna build that low that's a little low for me um but i had to try it you know i'm 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 maniac so i gotta do some crazy shit you know what i mean so that's what we have in here uh let's talk about this thing right here um what is the price of this thing 39.99 at mr joe's in mesquite 39.99 and get this brass cats RDA uh, it says uh, JR mods 1726 is the serial number on this piece nice cat logo uh, I really like this atomizer uh, it's adjustable um, I'm gonna leave it wide open I'm not even gonna try to vape it closed off because I know it's gonna be real hot because it's a this is a uh, 0.16, I think that's what we said, 0.16, uh, yeah, and, uh, with this 50-50 blend of, uh, Summer Fruits by, um, uh, a discount vapor in Garland, Texas, this is, this is, a. they give me this bottle because it's, a. Uh, this is not how their bottles come, no, no, they have nice labels, uh, nice chow resistant uh, bottles and everything um, this is just a sample for me to taste this juice and use it on here 50 50 blend it's putting out quite the vapor man oh boy that's some good juice this is a lot of flavor coming out of this thing I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below for their website um, yeah 
Um, but let's talk about this cats. Let's get back on. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track over all this other stuff. Okay, the cats are the A. Uh, another vape. Another vape. See, that thing is putting out big time, big time. Sitting on top of this uh, four nine here. It looks sweet. Look at that. Look, how, look at that. Nice. It, that's beautiful, in it? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Um, leaking. It leaked on me once. Uh, I mean, I've had it for a week, and it leaked on me once. Um, that's because I overfilled it. I overdrip. Don't know why I overdrip. I just put juice in there and see how much it go in there, and then it leaked and it flooded. And but since I know I vape on it, and I know uh, how much to put in here, I don't. I just give me a four or five drops in there, and then vape, and then take a couple more. Uh, take like three or four vapes on it. Drop a couple more drops in there, and then no flooding, no leaking. Um, this is a nice piece. This is a very, very nice piece. Uh, Mr. Joe's and Mesquite, you can pick this up. Uh, let's have another vape before I get out of here. Man. Mm. Woo, boy. I'm really digging this piece. Um, I'm gonna have to get one, just because it looks so nice on this 49. This is like the perfect setup for this 49 here. Um, this brass is starting to patina a little bit, and it's starting to almost look like the brass there on this. And this, this is the ultimate setup for me. Um, I like it. Um, just remember, battery safety. Do your do your homework. Do uh, learn your Ohm's law. Get your Ohm's law calculator um, before you try to attempt any rebuilding. You know, get a Ohm meter. I know mine in uh, close up. It was kind of jumping around, jumping around, but that's because I didn't have my uh, positive pin tight enough, so it was jumping around, jumping around. After I fixed that and I got to the target, um, I knew it was going to be. One, it should have been 0 0.16, 0 0.16, that's what it read, because um, if you notice, the coil I took out was a 0 0.32, and I did two of those, split that in half, 0 0.16, that's what we got, and that's what we got here, and um, um, just make sure, because this, this is a 35 amp battery in here, and the it's drawing 26 amps. 26 amps is what the what this build is drawing from this battery um, Just be sure that you vape safe vape what you like. I'm vaping maniac me and the cats are going for a little walk